Ready, Mr. Roo. When you are. She does not look so much like me. Well, that's not quite so important as the fact that she's ideal for the job. Despite the fact that at this moment she's on holiday. I'm sure you can arrange to get her here on time. <laughs> 3,000 miles in an afternoon. And secretly. Why not? Mr. Rule, our whole Air Force consists of three short-range bombers. Short-range. But the strategic position of your country means that the big powers are very anxious to be friendly. Why don't we just see how friendly? Perhaps you are right, Mr. Ruhr. Medina put me through two calls. One to the American Embassy and uh, one to the Embassy of the Soviet Union. have a good reason for this. A very, very good reason. on my yacht there I was lying on a beach minding my own business just listening to the surf and now thanks to the combined efforts of Harry Rule and the world superpowers there's a whole continent between me and that beach why well, that's a good question and a long one and I'll give you the answer in just a moment when I introduce you to someone
Oh, <coughs> Caroline, this is Madame Rue. The president's wife. We're a long way from home, Madame. Ah, not we all can pay so. I am staying at our embassy here for a reason. My husband is no longer young, Contessa. For the past year, he has been a very sick man. I've seen the press reports. His doctors have recommended urgent treatment by specialists in this country. So you brought him over here? Not yet. Until suitable precautions have been made, I dare not. You dare not? There's a rumor around they're going to attempt to kidnap the president when he gets here. Have you any idea who could be behind it? My husband has his share of enemies at home, Condesa. The danger is from both sides. The extreme left and the extreme right. Madame Rue wants us to help get the president here safely. Yes, well, that's all right so far, Harry, but why haul me back from holiday? I mean, couldn't you handle it yourself? Well, I suppose I could, but somehow I don't think the airport press would think that I was Madame Rue when the president flies in tomorrow. Dig. Dig. Right, Caroline? Like a trip on a steel trampoline. Well, don't blame me. Blame Harry. He said to make it look good. It look good. All right, Mr. Rule, no more questions for the moment. We'll post roadblocks for the ambulance. On an island this size, we shouldn't have too much trouble.
Madame Rue? Very convincing. Think you lift the evening papers? It was a good idea. You gave it to me. Me? When you mentioned the threat of kidnapping, I thought we ought to do it first. A red herring for the real extremist to chase. Meanwhile, the president will be taken safely to shore. When does your charter yard arrive? In about an hour. Good. The ambulance will be there to meet it. The doctor will take the president directly to the clinic. Doctor? One of us. To help in any way we can. You are very considerate. Yes, sir. Harry, what is it? Our ambulance is in trouble. You're nearer. Get down to the marina fast. The ambulance is in trouble. Come on, let's go. We were too late. They 
got the president. Is that the ambulance? The emergency signal's still working. Let's go find them. Right. be in the house. President is a sick man. We don't know how sick. Can we risk a straight break in? Negative. Keep it under surveillance, Paul. They have to make contact sooner or later. Right. This arrived this morning, delivered by hand. I'm to go alone. No mention of ransom. No. It's risky. My mind is made up. I do not know what their demands will be, but if I do not do what they ask, they will kill him. I must go to my husband. like a rough reception. When do we go in? We go in in 10 minutes.
Frig would be my guess, less than five hours away. We'll need a fast boat to catch that. Yeah, at least 30 knots. It's okay, we got him on the radar. Yes, he's dead. How long ago? When did he die? About an hour before I contacted you. Three days ago. Yes. You've been through it all for a dead man. No, I've been thinking we've been through it for one very much alive woman. Yes, alive to the possibility of taking over from your husband. He had to buy time. He had to keep the president alive as far as the world was concerned until you could arrange to seize power. A week would have been enough. Replace the police chief, a new army commander. And then an announcement that the president is dead, a state funeral, and by then you're too strong for anyone to challenge you. I got a question. Why didn't you take him to the clinic? With your staff in attendance, your secret would have been safe. Yes, with my staff in attendance. Oh, yeah, that's right. We had our doctor, he was in the ambulance. He wouldn't have been fooled. So you arranged a kidnapping. You gave me the idea. All right, gentlemen, if you have no objections, we will take her back. job, Skipper. I will second that. Oh, excuse me. Sure. Look, why don't you stick around for a while? I'm going to take uh, a couple days off. I'd appreciate a little female companionship. Mm, I'll bet you would. Golden beaches, long cool drinks. Hmm? Mm -mm. Take a uh, ride for two in a horse-drawn carriage. Mm -hmm. Quiet little dinner under the stars. What's the matter with that? All right. You convinced me I will stay. Waiter. I know you too well. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Rule, your chauffeur driven car is waiting for you. Yeah, I won't be needing it now. I'm flying out soon. I'm very sorry to hear that. You mean that chauffeur-driven car? I'll take it. What's your name? Julie. Julie. Mine's Harry. I'm kind of uh, new on the island. Uh-huh. And um, I thought maybe you could show me around some of the sights. Uh, In the avenues and alleyways Where the sun